this is how much of the country used to look. A typical market, a typical town. So very British, so very white. Not anymore. The face of Britain is changing. And nowhere more so than here in Peterborough. In the last decade in this city, 24,000 immigrants moved in. That's more than one in eight of the population. Over the past decade, more than a million Eastern Europeans came to Britain and stayed. Now politicians are competing to say that the country is no longer open to all comers. They're listening to the voices of those who are telling them that their towns, their cities, their lives have changed. I'll be honest, I want to move out of Peterborough. Surely to give my son a fair chance in the schools. Because obviously, you know, everyone's entitled to an education, but locally there is obviously so many that the classes will be getting bigger. Mm. And therefore, one or two schools, English isn't the first language. So what is they, it? Is it just so scale? Is that is, the yeah, issue? I think it is the scale. Yeah. I think it's just such a massive, massive change. And lots of people, my father very rarely comes into town, or his wife, because they don't feel safe. What, feel uncomfortable? Uncomfortable, don't feel safe, because obviously you don't know what, obviously when they're talking their native tongue, you don't know what they're rabbiting. Yeah. Ooh, have you got a customer? Or, <laughs> there is one hiding there. How long have you been living here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been yesterday. Yesterday, uh, 11. I, yeah. I've been the no, promo. I, I said, how long you lived in the city? In this city, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday, one day. Ian is very, very far from being alone. About three quarters of people tell pollsters they think immigration's too high. And more than half of us say that we think immigration should be cut by a lot. Now, that's been true for a long time, but something has changed in the last few years. The number of people who say that the impact of immigration is very bad has almost doubled. Interestingly, that's a view shared by first and second generation immigrants. The new arrivals are not integrating as well. This ghetto situation. Parim's father came from the Punjab to Peterborough to set up this stall. How different would he think Peterborough was now to what it was then? I'd think uh, he'd be shocked. Really? Yeah, I think so. Because? I mean, it's, I mean he was a, a very proud man who was British in a way. He came here and he embraced Britain as his country. Do you see the irony in this? I, I do. I You're mean, a Sikh. A, I, I, you see, the problem with these is, immigrants is they don't they don't mix in. That that is probably in a nutshell. Thank you very much. Drop them down for you. Yeah, please. Here in East Anglia, thousands of Eastern Europeans work on the land picking fruit and veg and flowers. People Steve believes help keep locals like him in their jobs. People say, no, we, we haven't got space for them. There's no room here. Well, there are really the jobs it here. Is. There is, there is. There's plenty of room. Yeah? There's plenty. We'll always fit them in. Imagine somebody's here, one of your comes to the say, my kid, my son, my grandson can't get a job because there's some Polish bloke taking it or Lithuanian or... What, what, what do you say to them? Try somewhere else, work harder. Hi, I'm morning. After you, no, you go first. For decades, the whole question of immigration was inextricably linked with race, which is why mainstream politicians were so terrified of the subject. But now the new influx of immigrants are white and from Europe, that link's largely been broken. But the pressure's still on the politicians because of questions of integration and questions of whether the country is simply too full. <laughs> So this is a Polish paper for here. Poles are known here for being hard workers, doing the jobs many others simply won't do. They're also known, though, for keeping themselves to themselves. We are Polish shop, you know, so that's why people are coming here, especially Polish people which are not speaking uh, English. But I guess 40, 50 years ago, maybe new arrivals in Britain thought, we have to learn English. 
Yeah, and then now, we can fix now you it. don't have to really, yeah, yeah, because if you got some problems, you can always come even to the shop. shop. Hey, Rocco. This city has already successfully absorbed many waves of immigrants, including thousands of Italians, one of whom is now Peterborough's political leader. My sense is you're kind of a big optimist about immigration, whereas I might have expected you not to be. OK, well, look, my view is a glass is either half full or half empty. Now, we can't stop immigration coming to the city. As a council, as an administration, I cannot stop people coming here. So what do you do? You either say they're a huge problem and we want them to go away, or you say, well, they're going to come anyway, so let's make the very, very best of it. Oh, look at that. Italians, Poles, Africans, Asians. A fifth of the population of this city were born abroad. A tenth of households speak no English. Now, the opinion polls are clearly telling politicians that people want that flow to stop or at least to slow down. Perhaps, though, people are as concerned about integration as they are about immigration. Because, in truth, most people know that Britain is not simply going to go back to the way it once was. Yeah.